by inch by inch. And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac, July 14, 1868, 151 years ago today. The day Alvin Fellows of New Haven, Connecticut, patented his new and useful improvement in spring measuring tapes. Though not the first, Fellow's design is widely regarded as the forerunner of the device used to this day. Countless instructional videos demonstrate tape measure use, some less than obvious. I get a few simple tricks to divide any length in half. For example, watch Tom Silva of the PBS show This Old House divide a 37 and 5 eighths inch board in half without doing the math just by arbitrarily measuring a 40-inch diagonal. Now, half of 40 is 20. When I mark 20 on the diagonal, that board is divided exactly in half. Yes, it really works. Good. Come along, then. While the 1964 movie Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews, found a more fanciful use. Just as I thought, extremely stubborn and suspicious. <laughs> I am not. Back in the real world, the National Institute of Standards and Technology certifies tape measure accuracy, with six-foot tapes required to be correct to within a 32nd of an inch. We're taking it inch by inch by. And so, on this day some actually celebrate as National Tape Measure Day, we pose this question. When it comes to using Alvin Fellow's tape, can we honestly say that we measure up? And with their 